So we got some news on new stuff that's happening in the game. So regarding content and stuff happening that are in the game, there's gonna be a new Astro Astro Lab Labos quest. Oh, is this the is this the is this the thing that it's in Mondstadt? Like you go to the door and it's right there. Maybe. All right, dear travelers, the Astro Labos quest was about to unfold. Once travelers have reached the required adventure rank and completed prerequisite quests, they may use the story key to unlock Mona's story quest in the Astro Labos chapter. Travis can obtain story keys by completing daily commissions. One story key will be granted every eight daily commissions completed. Cool. All right. Quest start time. After 1026, so tomorrow at 4 p.m. server time. Cool. So tomorrow, or, like, or two days, two days from now, sorry. Two days from now, we're going to have this. So new Astro Lobos quest. I think that's the, the thing in Monster, right? All right. Uh, story quest. Page unlock criteria, you gotta be adventure rank 26 or above. So once you guys are hit adventure rank 26, you have access to the quest. And uh, anybody who's any adventure rank 38 or above can complete the quest and has completed the Dark Knight Heroes Alibi can actually get the the Astral Levels chapter unlocked. So the, if you don't know what the, the chapters are, um, every so often when you do story chapter, oh wait, wrong one, sorry. You get J. There's a little story quest that come down here. You get the keys for them. I believe there's going to be a new story quest that's going to involve Mona. Because the first one was Klee, then it was uh, Jean, then Venti, and then finally go into Mona. So I guess that's where we're going to be. And then I believe the next one will be at 40. Not quite sure, but that's my guess. Um, note, different servers do have different times. Okay, so America is minus 5 UTC. Europe is plus 1, etc. So I guess this will be at minus 1 UTC. So that's five. So that'll be what? Actually, I don't care. I'm not doing time conversion for you guys. Fuck it. Moving on. Uh, so there's also a marvelous merchandise event, and the marvelous merchandise event is going to have uh, very fun details that we're going to read together as a as a team. Marvelous Merch merchandise event is available for a limited time, and the corresponding missions have been added to the battle pass. Complete them to, clean, to get battle pass EP XP. Dude, this sucks, man. I already finished my battle pass. I finished it like a week ago. It's really good my free to play account though. Yeah, free to play matters. <laughs> all right, so for free to play players, uh, we get in, we're gonna be able to complete our battle passes. Uh, respect to all my free to play brothers and sisters out there, because uh, because uh, we need this. Five hard. heartbreaker just. So Akuma, thank you for the dick. So, damn, I gotta I gotta, I gotta uh, pause these when I'm recording. <laughs> all right, event duration. It's going to be from 1026 all the way um, through 112. So we have a whole week, another week event. Hopefully there's no resin involved in this event so people can be happy about something. All right. Or any purchases. During the event, travelers must follow hints across Teyavet and find a merchant known as Lieben. After discovering his whereabouts, travelers must sub may submit materials for exchange to get a box of marbles and complain the rewards inside. The rewards inside better be original resin, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Libum will appear in various locations across Teyavat in this event period. Libum will offer travel seven different boxes of marvels. Each one can only be attained once. Oh, okay. Sure. Travis can, uh, can only gain one chance per day for box of marbles. If the chance opens his box of the day is not used, it will remain available until the day is end. So you can do all seven at the end, I guess. Pretty cool. All right. If necessary, travelers can use all their chances at one uh, once anytime before the event ends. Nice. So if you want to, uh, at the very end of the event, you can just use all of them. That's good. Once the event is over, and any unused boxes of marvels will be lost. So don't forget to use your uh, use your stuff and claim your awards. Did they? What's in the box, bro? Like I feel like we're watching seven here, and we all want to know what's in the box. Watch, 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 it's like resin in one box, it's primo gems in another box. It's basically shit we want, and like, it better be like good shit, bro. Like good shit. If you're giving us like 160 primo gems in one of the boxes, you're, you're going the right direction, mi hoyo. If you're giving like, uh, if you have an original, re two original resin in a box, you're going the right direction, mi hoyo. You're doing the right thing. If you're giving us like, um, what's it called? Farmable materials that we can just run around the world in. Uh, artifacts like four star artifacts and our three star artifacts uh, if you're giving us like other shit like that whole lot of bruh face I'm hoping bro if you give us Mora it better be a fuck load of Mora we're talking like like a couple hundred thousand Mora bro that's what I'm talking about okay it better be like 
a big chunk of shit. Like, I, I don't want to do this event if you like, like you have this news post and like I do the event and the first event is just like the second event. The second event is just like the first event. You better have some good shit in this one. I really don't want to run around for like 20 minutes finding this dude for nothing. I want to be excited to do this every day, Mihoyo. Come on, step your game up, okay? If you give me, and by the way, there, you can see here, from the event though, there's clearly themed based on elements. Each of the boxes is based on an element. So my theory, because I just know they're gonna do this, is it's gonna be like boss rewards, like stuff that you can get from the bosses, like the, those materials. And if it's that shit, so mad. But if it's like legendary artifacts in there, I'm pretty sure no one will complain. If it's like forced artifacts, a lot of people will complain. If it's materials that we can farm, bruh. We care about primo gems and resin right now, dude. That's the only thing anybody cares about is primo gems and resin, okay? The reason we care so much about them because there's a massive scarcity. We need that shit so that we can do shit. Uh, there's, there's a meme going around about uh, how we need more shit. And what you did is you gave us a bigger bowl. Definitely a big meme right now. Uh, we don't need another bowl. We need more shit to go inside that big bowl you just gave us, okay? If, if you gave us the big bowl so we could put more shit inside the bowl, good thinking ahead, Mihoyo. Good thinking ahead. Good job. We appreciate you. If you did that, if you didn't do that, you definitely missed the mark again, okay? I'm hoping, I'm, I'm praying, but we're gonna see, we're gonna see if we get some good. Uh, also, inside news, uh, just because I, I had this recording in another part of the, the video, but I'll just do a different video on it. Uh, we got in the mail today, we got this new thing for a little secret Klee event. Uh, this is not a date, by the way, over here. As you can see, it just says 1-5. Uh, let's switch screens. Um, this says 1 of 5, <laughs> not the date 1-5, so don't get confused. So there's going to be five little mails we're receiving. We got 200 Primo gems with it, as well as Fragile, Resident, and XP books. So, uh, nice. Free shit. No complaints. If this is like a daily campaign for five days, bitchin'. Nice campaign, mihoyo. Um, so if we if we get more consistent campaigns like this, like just random shit that you're giving us more free shit, free to play players are gonna start feeling a little bit more uh, interested in this game again, you know? Because they, they can't really do too much right now. But giving us giving them content. This is content. Good job, mihoyo. Good job. Uh, if you, you continue on with the, like this, this is great. This daily. Just give one of these out per day. All the time. Every day. For random shit. No reason. Just do it. All the time. And uh, people will be excited about playing the game a little bit longer. Or they'll just wait till the day they really want to play and play it a lot longer. Um, Alright. Moving on past that. There's also, if you didn't see it, there's a notice in the game. And I'll be going over what's going on with Klee right now. And show you some of the issues that are happening with Klee. When I can figure it out. All right, so if you did not know, in the Gin Game notices, there actually is a, an error with Klee. And if you did not know what the error is, there um, there is something with her talent pounding surprise that does not affect uh, apply properly. And what that means is that when you use uh, a charge attack, it doesn't always apply the additional damage modifier. So I'll go ahead and use Klee real quick so you can kind of see what that means. Looking at Klee here, Every so often when you're using Klee, you have this little flower that pies in the screen. This flower right here increases your charge attack damage on your next charge attack. It also makes your charge attack cost no stamina. So if you use the charge attack, boom, as you can see, it does damage. If I use the charge attack again without it, it does a, like a critical strike. You can't, you can't actually tell. <laughs> Crit again, of course. Thank you. Can you, can you not crit, please? Okay, 4,000. So you can see it went from uh, 4,000 damage to 5,000 damage. Pretty simple to see the damage difference there. We can get a, another crit here. All right, get another one. And see, 4,000 going up to 5,000 damage. So that's how you can see the different damage modifiers uh, on this one. And what happens sometimes is when you're interrupted in the middle of your charge attack, as it says in the notice, uh, the notice will say, hey, you... Um, uh, says that for some reason that the charge attack bonus doesn't always apply when the damage is interrupted so if you were say uh, moving a charge attack in between or potentially if you were like getting knocked backwards or something 
Uh, if the animation is interrupted, I'm not quite sure what they mean by interrupted. I haven't tested all the variations, but Pounding Surprise is a really big increase in damage. Pounding Surprise is a really in big increase in damage because what it does is when Jumpty Dumpty and normal charge attacks uh, deal damage, Cleaves a 50% chance of dealing the explosive spark, which is what we saw, and the explosive spark consumes, uh, is consumed by the next charge attack, which costs no stamina and does 50% increased damage. So uh, a 50% increased damage on some of your charge attack hits not being applied is a pretty big um, bug. So we need to have that fixed, and that's why they said in the in-game notice. So we're gonna go over some of the other things with Klee that you may not know, and I'll be talking about them in this video. And we'll just do the outro. All right, guys. Let me you guys think about all the, the changes that are happening in this right now. For getting us, we're getting more rewards, getting more resin, things like that. Um, if it's enough, not enough, if they're starting to go the right direction. What do you guys think in the comment section below? Let me a comment. Let me know if you, I read a lot of my comments about this kind of stuff, so I just want to know what you guys are at, and we can talk about it. Have a great day, guys. Peace.